you welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be having an example on centrally controlled branches when goods are sent at cost so this example says nature stores has its head office in kampala city it sends goods to various branches at cost from the following particulars relating to the nankulabia branch prepare the necessary accounts in the books of the head office so in the books of the head office it means that it is a centrally controlled branch since we said for the centrally controlled branch the accounts are prepared by the head office so they are prepared in the books of the head office not the branch so the goods are sent at costs and it is a centrally controlled branch so these are the details we have stock at 1st january 2023 data as at 1st january 2023 we have goods sent to the branch we have expenses paid by head office those ones well we have salary rent petty cash credit sales cash returns from debtors so these are the expenses then we have cash returns from debtors we have sales returns from debtors discount allowed to debtors we have bad debts then goods returned by the branch to head office then we have stock at the end yeah so that is the example that we have so required they want us to prepare the necessary accounts in the books of the head office since the goods are sent at cost and it is a centrally controlled branch we are going to prepare the six accounts that we talked about yeah so we start we have the branch stock account the branch stock account we debit and then credit what did we say we record in the branch stock account we said opening balance goods sent to the branch goods returned by customers credit sales cash sales returns by the branch normal loss abnormal loss goods stolen like that yeah so balance brought down you write right, UGX, then even here, UGX. So balance brought down is the opening balance. So stock at 1st January 2023, that is the opening balance. It was 80,000 and the in three zeros. When the in three zeros, you indicate it there in the bracket. So the in three zeros. So our balance brought down is 8,000. Then we have the second one is goods sent to the branch. They have told us goods sent to the branch is 22,000. So we also record it. Goods sent to the branch, which is 22,000. Then we have goods returned by customers goods returned sales returns from datas these are the goods returned by customers they were sold but now they are returned by the customers so the sales returns it is 400 shillings or 400,000 yeah then on this side we have credit sales cash sales goods returned by the branch to head office so cash sales is here credit sales is here then we have goods returned by the branch so we record them the cash sales is 10,000 credit sales is 25,000 
So Kai sells is ten thousand. Credit sells is twenty five thousand. Then goods returned by the branch to head office. They are eight hundred. Like that. Do we have any loss? Abnormal loss or something? We do not have goods stolen. We don't have, so we leave them out. Then stock at thirty first December twenty twenty three. That is the closing balance. So read it here as the balance carried down, which is ten thousand. Then after we get the total, you see whether this side is greater than this side or this side is greater. So this is 35, 35, 800, 45, 800. And this is 30, 400. So this side is greater. So 45, 800. You put a greater amount on both sides. Then you get this minus all these minus 422,000, then 8,000. This minus this, what you get is the branch profit, which is 15,800. I told you if this side is greater than this side, it is a profit. This side is greater than this side, it is a loss. So that is the branch stock account. Then the next account that we have is goods sent to the branch. Goods sent to the branch account. This one only records two things, goods returned by the branch to head office and goods sent by the head office. So this side we have goods sent to the branch. Here, yeah, don't forget the Yugi X TV zeros. Yugi X TV zeros. Yeah, so goods sent to the branch, it is this, the 22,000. Then goods returned by the branch. this 800 then we get the difference between the two this side is greater so we write a greater amount on both sides on both sides like that then what we get this minus that is the stock at the branch this minus this it gives us 21 200 then the second the third account that we have is the branch data's account this one is for determining the closing balance of the data's so debit credit opening balance has a normal debit balance so come here debtors on 1st January 2023 which is 4000 4000 Yugi X TV zeros Yugi X TV zeros like that then we have credit sales credit sales are here 25,000. Then this side we have cash received from debtors. Cash received from debtors is 9,000. Then we have the sales returns from data 
these ones 400 then we also have the discount allowed to debtors it is 500 then we have bad debts it is 100 they are here discount allowed 500 bad debts 100 then the closing balance is what we are looking for since it was it wasn't given so we compare to see which side is greater this is 100 500 that is 600 plus 400 1000 plus 9000 which is 10000 and this is 29000 so this side is greater we put the greater amount on both sides 29000 like that then you get this minus the 10,000. What we get is the balance carried down or the closing balance, which is of 19,000, like that. Then another account that we are going to have is the branch expenses account. Say this one records all the expenses that were incurred by the branch debit then credit we have here expenses paid by head office salary rent petty cash then discount allowed is also an expense and bad debts is also an expense so that's what we record so yugi x three zeros yugi x zeros like that so we have salaries of 2000 rent of 1000 we have petty cash of 300 discount allowed of 500 bad debts of 100 then we get the total of all these which is 3900 this side has nothing so 3900 will become the closing balance balance carried down 3900 like that that is the branch expenses account then another account we are going to have is the branch cash account so when you're going for an exam you must be knowing in your head the accounts that you're going to prepare because they will not tell you so the branch cash account it records all the cash transactions what was coming in and what was going out so what was coming in this time we had the cash sales The cash sales was 10,000. Yugi X TV zeros. Yugi X TV zeros. Then cash received from data. Cash from data, it is 9,000. So 9,000. Then this side, we have all those that we were taking out cash, the expenses. We have salaries of 2000 rent of 1000 We have petty cash of 300 like that. Then we see which side is greater. This is 19,000, then this is 3,300, so this side is greater. So we put a greater amount on both sides, 19,000. So 19,000 minus 3,300. Sorry, this is not 3,300. The petty cash 
is uh, yeah it is three thousand three hundred so nineteen thousand minus three thousand three hundred what we get is the balance carried down which is fifteen thousand seven hundred that is the balance carried down then we go to the branch profit or loss account debit and credit so the, the, this one only has two things the gross profit and then the expenses so we have the branch gross profit which is this we put it on the credit side so branch gross profit is fifteen thousand eight hundred then the branch expenses three thousand nine hundred so this side we read the branch expenses three thousand nine hundred like that so which side is greater this one so we put a greater amount on both sides then we get this minus this what we get becomes the branch profit. So the branch profit is 11,900. So those are the accounts that we prepare when goods are sent at the branch at cost. In the next video, we shall be seeing an example when goods are sent at selling price. Then we shall also look at the autonomous branches. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Let's catch up in my next video.